All right, guys, for video purposes, I'm going to try to keep this video under three minutes. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to do one of the essential things that you need to know how to do if you're going to be a beekeeper. Because at some point, your bees aren't going to be very nice and they are going to sting you. Especially when the time of year gets for them to be putting up a lot of honey and the dearth comes on or a weather situation and you need smoke to work so i always start with a little bit of newspaper i always want to puff that up get us a nice little flame going there you always want to stay back away from your smoker and not do this up into your veil because you will melt your face i like to use newspaper to get that going so we'll get that puffed up first we want that flame to come up and you always want to build your fire from the bottom up and I like to use cedar chips like the kind that is the animal bedding so I'm just gonna take cedar chips I cram around in a coffee can like this I'm just gonna put a little bit I'm gonna puff it up and let them get caught up just like that we're gonna try to make the video in under a minute it's gonna depend on how well flame gets caught up here we're going to add a little bit more paper to that we just want to build up a layer you can see it's starting to smoke down in there we just want to build up a few layers of cedar chips and paper you just want to puff it up you don't want that flame coming out on your bees so you want to definitely get that down before before you do that and just keep puffing it get them cedar chips caught up build that fire from the bottom up cedar chips a little bit of newspaper you can use any paper you can use cardboard paper whatever you like to get that started you just want to stack that fire from the bottom up you want to just keep packing it in there now that we got a couple layers of paper and cedar chips we'll just keep puffing it up puff it up You pack it full of smoker material and you just uh, put it out a few moments later on top put the flame on top it's not going to hold a flame so you want to build up that bed of coals I'm going to show you what that looks like down inside there in a second Like my video is going to make it in a three minute range but that's okay you want to take time to prepare your smoker now if you look down in there you can see those coals going good so now that we got a good bed of coals in there we want to pack that sucker full of cedar chips so this is the un scented untreated animal bedding cedar chips it smells really nice you can see that beautiful smoke and we just want to we don't want this to be hot on our bees so we want to pack this down now now's the crucial stage you want to pack this thing full that way you're not blowing in hot smoke on your bees and this will stay lit this will stay lit for 8 to 12 hours we've had some days where we've worked through four or five yards and been 12 hour days and we keep this smoker lit you just keep adding fuel on top and you see that how smooth that is that's not really hot you don't want to see flames coming through there and you just keep packing it full till you got your smoker full and then sometimes we'll take green material we'll take some plantain leaves or whatever is in the area the green material like that and put it on top and that creates like a a mesh between our smoke and our bees and we get a nice smooth consistent product just like that 
and you just keep refueling this thing whenever you run out every hour to every two hours however long it takes you to get through there those cedar chips best thing you can get a big bag of cedar chips that'll last you all year i'm in apiaries almost every day sometimes for 12 hours 8 to 12 hour days sometimes doing bee stuff so that's how you uh get your smoker lit guys